Hello, beautiful, shining friends. Welcome to a brand new week. My name is Isabel, and I'm here to share some Akashic guidance with you. And happy new moon. We had a new moon in Pisces, the last sign of the zodiac, and we are going to be entering um, eclipse season, and we are going to be entering a brand new zodiac season. So this new moon is wonderful because it is kind of setting the stage for everything new and wonderful that is happening. Now, remember, whenever you have an ending, so if on one side you have an ending, on the flip side is a beginning. And this is exactly what this is. So the new moon was yesterday, Sunday, the 10th, and it came in at around 5 a.m. Eastern time. So that means you're still fully in that beautiful energy, and it is such a perfect time to set new moon intentions. Now, if you're going to set new moon intentions, remember new moons are about the in-breath. They're about the create, creating. They're about bringing in and the full moon is about releasing and letting go and making space. And when you work with both of these, so many great changes can happen around your life and in your life. Now, this new moon in Pisces is so creative, so beautifully flowing and easy and spiritual. Right? So call in those magical energies, bring them forward, add them to your creativity, add them to your goals and intentions and ask for all sorts of support to help magnetize and experience your dreams and your intentions. Now, since it is a new moon in Pisces, why don't you set intentions in a super fun and creative way? So whatever you were doing before, add a little bit of ease and flow and fun and craziness, like childlike craziness and fun in your intention setting. It will definitely have an impact. And remember, this is such a perfect time to open up the doors to your intuition and have a deeper conversation and insight on your purpose, where you are, where you want to go, and what's in store for you and everything around you, right? This is the energy of the new moon. Now, if we combine this with the reading that I have in front of me, it, I'm I'm reminded of the yin and yang with this reading, right? So I want you to picture an image of the yin and yang, you know, maybe like the dark fish and the white fish, the balance, and there is that. So of course, life is still life. You might have some ups, you might have some downs, but during those ups, it is so important to pour into your creativity, to fill your heart with love and, and gratitude and to share it freely, openly, and widely. And if you're going down into the valley, I want you to be kind to yourself, still tap into intuition, and to remember hope, to remember positivity, to remember your higher calling, and that you are part of a bigger purpose, and to find your inner flame. If you are in that valley, and you are living emotions, of course, you allow yourself to fully express them and heal them. And then you move on, you don't want to stay down in that valley. And when you allow yourself to flow up, there is so much beauty out there. So this is a week and a fortnight and a month of playfulness, of enjoying it, 
and you are surrounded. So if you need that support, you can ask for that support. And when you go with the flow, you are patient, you are aligned, you are open to receiving, your heart is already full, and you are receiving more, more of everything and more abundance. Let it be, claim it, feel it, embody it. Such a beautiful, powerful, creative week. Mm, love it. So thank you so much for being part of this community. I would love to read a positive comment. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a positive comment for myself and everyone that reads the comments. If you want to go deeper, you feel like it's time to move forward and enjoy this new moon energy then do reach out to me. We can do an intuitive reading or we can do some one-on-one -on -one mentorship for sure. Just reach out to me or you can check out the link for my website. And on this note, I am sending you so much love, so much light for a wonderful, fantastic, creative, and fun week. And I will see you very soon. Bye for now.